In everyday use and in kinematics, the speed of an object is the magnitude of its velocity the rate of change of its position, it is thus a scalar quantity. The average speed of an object in an interval of time is the distance traveled by the object divided by the duration of the interval, the instantaneous speed is the limit of the average speed as the duration of the time interval approaches zero. Speed has the dimensions of distance divided by time. The SI unit of speed is the meter per second, but the most common unit of speed in everyday usage is the kilometer per hour or, in the US and the UK, miles per hour. For air and marine travel the knot is commonly used. The fastest possible speed at which energy or information can travel, according to special relativity, is the speed of light in a vacuum C. Equals 299,792,458 meters per second, approximately 1,079,000,000 kilometers per hour, or 671,000,000 miles per hour. Matter cannot quite reach the speed of light, as this would require an infinite amount of energy. In relativity physics, the concept of rapidity replaces the classical idea of speed. Equals. Topic definition. Equals. Topic historical definition. Italian physicist Galileo Galilei is usually credited with being the first to measure speed by considering the distance covered and the time it takes. Galileo defined speed as the distance covered per unit of time. In equation form, that is v equals d t display style v equals frac d t where v display style v is speed d display style d is distance and t display style t is time a cyclist who covers 30 meters in a time of 2 seconds, for example, has a speed of 15 meters per second. Objects in motion often have variations in speed a car might travel along a street at 50 km per hour, slow to 0 km per hour, and then reach 30 km per hour. <laughs> Instantaneous speed Speed at some instant, or assumed constant during a very short period of time, is called instantaneous speed. By looking at a speedometer, one can read the instantaneous speed of a car at any instant. A car traveling at 50 km per hour generally goes for less than one hour at a constant speed, but if it did go at that speed for a full hour, it would travel 50 km. If the vehicle continued at that speed for half an hour, it would cover half that distance 25 km. If it continued for only one minute, it would cover about 833 meters. In mathematical terms, the instantaneous speed v v is defined as the magnitude of the instantaneous velocity v bold symbol v. That is the derivative of the position r bold symbol r with respect to time. V equals V equals R equals D R D T display style V equals left bold symbol V right equals left dot bold symbol R right equals left frac D bold symbol R D T right if S display style s is the length of the path also known as the distance traveled until time t display style t the speed equals the time derivative of s display style s v equals d s d t display style v equals frac ds dt in the special case where the velocity is constant that is constant speed in a straight line this can be simplified to v equals s t display style v equals s t 
The average speed over a finite time interval is the total distance traveled divided by the time duration. Topic: <laughs> Average speed. Different from instantaneous speed, average speed is defined as the total distance covered divided by the time interval. For example, if a distance of 80 km is driven in one hour, the average speed is 80 km per hour. Likewise, if 320 km are traveled in four hours, the average speed is also 80 km per hour. When a distance in kilometers km is divided by a time in hours h, the result is in km per hour, km per hour. Average speed does not describe the speed variations that may have taken place during shorter time intervals as it is the entire distance covered divided by the total time of travel, and so average speed is often quite different from a value of instantaneous speed. If the average speed and the time of travel are known, the distance traveled can be calculated by rearranging the definition to d equals v t display style d equals bold symbol bar v t using this equation for an average speed of 80 kilometers per hour on a 4 hour trip the distance covered is found to be 320 kilometers expressed in graphical language the slope of a tangent line at any point of a distance time graph is the instantaneous speed at this point while the slope of a chord line of the same graph is the average speed during the time interval covered by the chord average speed of an object is Vav equals s divided by t equals topic tangential speed equals linear speed is the distance traveled per unit of time, while tangential speed or tangential velocity is the linear speed of something moving along a circular path. A point on the outside edge of a merry-go-round or turntable travels a greater distance in one complete rotation than a point nearer the center. Traveling a greater distance in the same time means a greater speed, and so linear speed is greater on the outer edge of a rotating object than it is closer to the axis. This speed along a circular path is known as tangential speed because the direction of motion is tangent to the circumference of the circle. For circular motion, the terms linear speed and tangential speed are used interchangeably, and both use units of meter per second, kilometer per hour, and others. Rotational speed, or angular speed involves the number of revolutions per unit of time. All parts of a rigid merry-go-round or turntable turn about the axis of rotation in the same amount of time. Thus, all parts share the same rate of rotation, or the same number of rotations or revolutions per unit of time. It is common to express rotational rates in revolutions per minute RPM or in terms of the number of «radians» turned in a unit of time. There are little more than six radians in a full rotation 2 pi radians exactly. When a direction is assigned to rotational speed, it is known as rotational velocity or angular velocity. Rotational velocity is a vector whose magnitude is the rotational speed. Tangential speed and rotational speed are related, the greater the RPMs, the larger the speed in meters per second. Tangential speed is directly proportional to rotational speed at any fixed distance from the axis of rotation. However, tangential speed, unlike rotational speed, depends on radial distance the distance from the axis. For a platform rotating with a fixed rotational speed, the tangential speed in the center is zero. Towards the edge of the platform the tangential speed increases proportional to the distance from the axis. In equation form v r omega display style v propto r omega where v is tangential speed and omega greek letter omega is rotational speed. One moves faster if the rate of rotation increases a larger value for omega, and one also moves faster if movement farther from the axis occurs a larger value for r. Move twice as far from the rotational axis at the center and you move twice as fast. Move out three times as far and you have three times as much tangential speed. In any kind of rotating system, tangential speed depends on how far you are from the axis of rotation. When proper units are used for tangential speed v, rotational speed ω, and radial distance r, the direct proportion of v to both r and ω becomes the exact equation v equals r ω 
display style v equals r omega thus tangential speed will be directly proportional to r when all parts of a system simultaneously have the same omega as for a wheel disk or rigid wand topic units Units of speed include meters per second, symbol ms minus one or meter per second, the SI derived unit. Kilometers per hour, symbol kilometer per hour. Miles per hour, symbol mile per hour or mph. Knots, nautical miles per hour, symbol kn or kt. Feet per second, symbol fps or foot per second. Mach number, dimensionless, speed divided by the speed of sound. In natural units dimensionless speed divided by the speed of light in vacuum symbol c equals 299,792,458 meters per second values in bold face are exact equals topic examples of different speeds equals equals topic psychology equals according to jean piaget the intuition for the notion of speed in humans precedes that of duration and is based on the notion of outdistancing piaget studied this subject inspired by a question asked to him in 1928 by albert einstein in what order do children acquire the concepts of time and speed children's early concept of speed is based on overtaking", taking only temporal and spatial orders into consideration, specifically, a moving object is judged to be more rapid than another when at a given moment the first object is behind and a moment or so later ahead of the other object. See also <laughs> <laughs>